just got up on this track, took my coat off, keeping my jumper on for a little while. I've tied the coat to me, it's not a heavy coat, so it's tied up. I've got to watch it, don't slip out, could disappear, but I've emptied the pockets. Um, I'm going to use my stick now. That lovely tree over there, some lovely, lovely, lovely trees here. Really is. It's really, really beautiful. This, this, this paradise. It's called Paradise Coombe, and that looks like a type of stone down there. I wonder. I missed that bit because I, I decided to come up here. There's a big old knobbly stone down there. It might have some relevance. I'm not going back down. I'm going to walk a little bit along here. Just got to put that down a minute while I. Sort my stick out. This side you had to stick for a little while. They, they do come in handy. Should have taken some more photos. Oh dear. Not to worry. Put it down a bit. Actually. It's half past ten, by the way. I did have a look. So I'm quite pleased with the, what I've done so far. So we've been just over two hours. Which is fine because I've had to. Uh, it's not a race. I'm here to in, explore and to look, and that's what I've done to get bearings. Well, that is the main path down there, and uh, like I said, there is a type of stone down there. Um, I'll just zoom into it a minute, see if it's got anything written on it. That would be a shame to miss that. If it's got writing on it. No, it doesn't look like that. It does look very... Could have been a tree stump, actually. That looks... was turned to stone. But actually, the trees here are gorgeous. I decided to... I do like to vary everything. So I thought I'd do a little bit of this. And there's down there as well. This eventually, if according to the map, joins up. Oh, I feel the air though. Not a sound. Not a sound. I'm on the second battery, charging one up, and I've still got another one. That's what I always do. Like I say, this first part will be videoed more than some, some of the other bits. So I'll probably I'll be, I'll keep an eye on the memory and everything. i got another memory card. I, buy, I need to buy new memory cards as well. Ready for next year. I need a 32er. I need them more for when I go away, actually. Those bigger cards. I've got to keep an eye on that track, though. <coughs> I'll keep an eye on it. Seems to have disappeared. Or is that it down there again? Like I said, this, there was no signs, no signs at all. I haven't. I saw one sign to Paradise Coombe, and then nothing. When you actually got to Paradise Coombe, there was absolutely no sign to say, "Here, yeah, welcome to Paradise Coombe." You know. This is uh, less uh, damage into the shoes walking here. I'm running parallel with the lower path. I 
wonder what most people use. I wonder if they use this one and not that one. Yeah, the sticks are handy. Oh, a bit of bog. A little bit of bog. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this because if I got a later bus, I wouldn't have even been off the bus yet. Right? The bus didn't come till about ten past ten. And uh, it wouldn't get over to a bit more until about ten to eleven. So having that earlier bus, that earlier start, it's enabled me to do the first part of this walk. Which is, I mean, I've got all the, the freshness and, you know, the exploring spirit in me. Knowing that I know the other routes I'm going to be using. And they're familiar to me. This is all unknown. A great big stump in there. This looks like it's been mowed, doesn't it? I would have thought most people would use this one, don't you? Looks a little bit wild down there now. But we don't want to keep her, we don't want to lose her. Yeah, look at that old stump. That was a big tree once, allowed to rot naturally, look. Full of mould and fungi. It's a bit hollowed out there. I wonder what that was. That could have been a bit of quarrying there. Could have been. You can see daylight. We know we're getting near the top. Mind you, walks can be deceiving. You think you're at the top and it uh, says, Oh no, you're not there yet. Another stump there. Looked like this had quite a big avenue itself once. Of big trees like the ones I saw earlier. I wonder if they just grew here on their own or they all look a little bit on their last legs, a few of them now. Yeah, I think most people would come up here, don't you? It's getting a bit bushy down there. Right, it's time to turn off again now, folks. I'm carrying on up. In the distance, there's probably Thorncombe Hill. Beyond that tree, I can see a hill, and it's probably Thorncombe. Thorncombe. Which I was on, on one of my Quantop walks. The first Quantop walk I did. When I did... Uh, Walked from there, West Bagborough. I didn't go... I, I crossed it briefly when I was on the second West Bagborough walk. But I'll be transversing some of it. What I did on the first walk. When I get up here. But it's time to turn off now. And there looks, my goodness, I might wait actually, this looks at like the base of a massive tree that once stood through there, look. That looks massive. So we're going up Paradise Coombe, we think. According to the map, it looks very likely. That'd be arable land up there, where, the, where you can see the sky. And to, across there with that, that big set of trees I saw. I'm just keeping video. Oh, I just heard the steam train. I met a bloke at work um, on the steam train. He was a volunteer, but he did, they did give him some money. He was on his way to work this morning early. That could be him on the train now. Yeah, there's the. I've got to remember that I need to keep on the, 
the main path. I'm just diverting a bit. Could you get a different perspective from up here? Oh, that, that, what that is, that's a tree that's fallen over, but it looked like a wide base for a minute. It looked like a wide base. Yeah, definitely. Right, turn off to take some photos. Back on soon, and you're back on again. I just come up from down there, and there was another major massive wide track there. Where on earth that come from? But there is a pole up here, so this bit's dwindled away a bit. Now if I'd stayed down there, I might never have seen that. Just study the map again. But there is a pole and we're getting higher. But like I said, I've got <coughs> this might not even be Paradise Coombe. I don't know. I, I'm beginning to wonder if it is. <sighs> it's just weird how the sign disappeared. I was following the sign. There was two signs and then no more. It's really strange. <sighs> but it looks like we're getting somewhere. Here we go. A lot of these signs are not very well maintained, are they? Those sheep have been following me all the way up. Yeah, I'm up here now. I got here. I got here, sheepies. I know you've been keeping an eye on me. I know. Bye-bye then. Bye-bye. We're nearly up the top now. Will there be a sign on these poles? No. Not one single sign. Glad I never came down the other way. So I'll tell you what, that would have been a hell of a goose chase for me. I would have had no idea about climbing up. No idea. I don't know where that other track comes from. I really don't. That is so strange. That is so strange. This, been, been, this is what happens there, but it's part of the exploring. And when you come back and you try out these other tracks, in the end you pick, you, you work out the network. But to be quite honest, there's absolutely nothing telling you. Where to? I wonder why the bloke looked at me when I said I'm doing Paradise Coom. So it's probably loads of people get lost and knock on his door. I bet loads of people knock on their doors, you know. But something tells me to go this way, and I feel this is the way to Halswell Post. And if that wasn't Paradise Coom, I've got no idea what it was. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not going to bother looking until we get up the top. I'm just going to follow this trap. <sighs> yeah. Right, I'm turning off for a while. I'm going to take my jumper off now. It's getting really hot. <sighs> 